I was a little concerned about jumping into the water with what's a staple of a white pointer's diet. After all, it's around this area where many of the shark scenes from Jaws were filmed. But apparently, the water here is too shallow for them. So the sea lions live here in peace. The sea lions move through the water with absolute grace, and in a flash, they can turn on a dime and speedily swim away. This is a really unique experience, where you get to interact with a glorious animal in its natural environment. They were really inquisitive and a lot like puppy dogs, and their friendly behaviour made me start to think that they were domesticated. But it's important to remember that they're still wild animals. I only wish I had half as much grace in the water as these incredible creatures. Oh. That is one of the most amazing things I've ever done. One of the most beautiful creatures, slow and fat on land, so fast and so playful in the water. Oh, if you ever get a chance, do it without a doubt. It's amazing. Leaving the coast, I started my outback adventure. And first stop on this journey into the desert was the awe-inspiring Wulpina Pound in the Flinders Ranges. The Australian outback is widely known for its dry and arid conditions, but with a little bit of rain, it really bursts into life. Just over here, a couple of days ago, it was dry and dusty, and now with a few showers, it's really coming out lush and green. This is the thing that I really love about the outback, the fact that it's just so unpredictable and it's constantly changing. It just makes it such a beautiful place. The best way to take in the magnificence of the Flinders Ranges and the volcano-like formation of Wulpina Pound is from the air. It's only from a bird's eye view that you can really get an appreciation for how beautiful and dramatic the landscape is. It looks like it's straight out of an African savanna, where the creased and folded mountains rise abruptly from the surrounding golden plains. From the ground, it's impossible to grasp just how expansive the range is. I used to come up here as a kid on camping holidays and, um, you know, I, I sort of never imagined it would be somewhere where I'd be working, but when the job came up here, I couldn't resist it. And, um, I mean, um, it's, it's somewhere that's, that's always a bit different from, you know, the city life. Um, if you're the sort of person who loves shopping malls and bowling alleys and all that sort of thing, you're never going to get by here. But uh, if you can make your own entertainment and, um, you know, you actually enjoy the outback and, um, and the environment, then this is, this is the place to work. 
Do you find are there are a lot of people like you here that they come here and end up staying? Uh, there's, there's a few. I, I wouldn't say it's common. I mean, most people are, are here for a particular reason. They're saving up. Um, they're trying to escape some problem in the city sometimes. Um, but um, it's a good place to save money. There's nothing to spend it on. And you know, in, in 12 months, you can you can save you know 20 odd thousand dollars. And as a as a you know young kid, 18 to 20, you know, it's a it's a great way to get yourself started. Well, I do four wheel drive tours, um, just out around through the gorges and uh, and around the place, and um, I do much everything, look in the shop, or I'll make beds if they're really desperate, but uh, not keen on that one. But uh, no, look, I mean, it's uh, it's an interesting job, I love flying, but after you know, 2,000 scenic flights, you're always happy to do something a bit different as well. Most of the pilots that come up here are just trying to build their hours up so they can you know, leave and go work for the airlines, but uh, I've always, um, you know, loved this sort of flying, and um, the longer you stay here, the more you tend to fall in love with it, so I've got no plans to go anywhere else.